Hey guys, Slissa here, and today I'm going to review with you the newest Warlock cards for the new expansion, Rides of Shadows, coming out April 9th from Hearthstone. I'm really excited about this expansion, so let's get into the Warlock cards. There are 10 of them. Uh, let's start with the legendaries, though. I'd like to start with those. First one, Fell Lord Betrug. I have not seen this card yet, so let's find out what it is. Eight mana, five, seven. Not great stats. Whenever you draw a minion, summon a copy with Rush that dies at the end of the turn. Okay. Whenever you draw a minion, which is just like your life tap, uh, summon a copy with Rush and it dies at the end of the turn. This is a pretty heavy card, so like for that turn you get one minion, and a 5-7 isn't that sticky, it's kind of sticky to the board. I think this is bad, I don't see it doing great unless you run like a billion poison minions. It's kind of hard to draw when you only have two mana left. Um, I don't think this card's good. I'm going to say bad. It'd be cool if it worked, but I'm going to say bad. <laughs> That's my initial thought on it. Uh, Arc Villain Rafan. This is a card I've reviewed already, and I've already changed my mind about it. It's a 7 mana, 7 8 taunt, which is good stats. Replace your hand and deck with legendary minions. I first said that I didn't think this card would be that great. Changed my, my mind. I think this will be really awesome. I think a lot of people use it because it's fun. Um, there are some strong legendaries being put into the pool in the different classes that I've seen. Uh, so I think this will work. 7 mana 7 eight's already strong stats as well, and it's a taunt. And saying, hey, hold up. Hold up, I'm going to put a taunt out while I switch my deck out for a whole different deck than I planned on bringing. And then I'm going to tap to find those cards. I'm going to say it's a good card. And remember, it, it replaces your hand and your deck. So some cards just replace your deck. This is like all the cards. I like it. Alrighty, now this plot twist card is interesting. Plot twist, two mana spell, shuffle your hand into your deck, draw that many cards. So if you have five cards in your hand, you're like, uh, I don't want these ones. You shuffle them in and you get five new cards. This is amazing, in my opinion, with Archville and Rafam. But guess what? If you've played Archville and Rafam, you can't play this card because you won't have it. It got ruined. But I just think it's good in general because there's times where you could have really strong cards and they're not in your hand. And just trying to top deck one card isn't the answer. So this is like, yo, I just I need a new 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 shot at this. Excellent card. Thumbs up. Love it. Um, let's start from here. Why is this all blue? Hello? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That was annoying me. <laughs> Six mana, darkest hour. Destroy all friendly minions. Oh, no. Oh, my, do my dog is eating something again. Hold on. Poppy! in this age where she thinks the wall is food. I don't know why she thinks the wall is food. I have to keep my eye on this one. She's a troublemaker. Okay, sorry. Six mana, darkest hour, destroy all friendly minions. That seems scary. For each one, summon a random minion from your deck. Oh, God. Um... So let's say your minions are at low health, and you do this, and you get full health minions. So that's kind of cool. You don't have Void Lords in your deck anymore. Hmm. This has to have a lot of synergy. I'm scared about this card. I'm going to say no. You have to have a really interesting deck build around. I just don't know what it is. 
that sounds interesting, but I'm gonna say no for now. No. All right, here comes the imps. There is like a imp zoo kind of build that they are looking at. Jumbo imp, 10 mana, 8-8, eight, eight, cost one less whenever a friendly demon dies while this is in your hand. So this could potentially be a zero mana, 8-8. Eight, eight. Good card. I like it. I like zero mana, 8-8s. Eight, eight. They're good. Three mana inferno. Do you give your mean, give your demons plus one attack. Deal one damage to all enemy minions. So deal one damage to all enemy minions. That's AOE. That's good. And then give all your demons plus one attack. This seems strong if you're playing a zoo because there's not a lot of AOE you're going to run in a zoo deck. Um, so I'm going to say this card's here to here. I think here. Like if zoo takes off, this will definitely be in it. Like a demon zoo. This is a six mana four six. What's this card? Six mana four six. A Ron a Ronasi, Broodmother. I hope I said that right. Taunt six mana four six taunt. When you draw this, restore four health to your hero. So this is a dead giveaway when you draw this card. Yo, I just drew this card. Uh, six mana four six is not great. I'm gonna say bad card don't like it uh eager underling four mana two two death i'll give your uh give two random friendly minions plus two plus two that is super slow on turn four you don't want to be putting out a two two uh if you're playing a buff deck you want to be buffing as you go and putting out thick cards that's not great. And especially because it's a death row, it's not even a battle cry. No, this card's awful. Don't play it. Ooh, we were talking about that card. Evil Genius. Two mana, two, two. Destroy a friendly minion to add two random lackeys to your hand. Lackeys are good. Um, there'll probably be plenty of imps to destroy in an imp style deck. This is that's what this would be in. Um so if imp ends up being good, then yay. Imp is bad, then boo. I'm going to say this. It's a fine card. Fine card if imps work out, it's good. Rough bomb scheme. Three mana. Summon one, one, one imp. Upgrades every turn. So every turn you get another imp. So by turn five, you have five imps. Five one ones. It's very underwhelming. It's so underwhelming, and you have to have it sit in your hand forever, and you're probably playing an aggro-style deck, so you don't want this sitting in your hand forever if you're playing aggro. I don't like it. Boo. And that's it. That's it for Warlock. Huh. So, in my opinion, I don't think the imps will work out great. I don't think that that style deck will do well, but... I think uh, the Arc Villain or Fom is interesting. So maybe you build an imp deck and then you just like, oh, I've, I'm, I'm running low on value. Let's reform. Not quite sure. I'm going to say that Warlock doesn't seem to be doing great. I don't think it will be that strong, but I think reform will be interesting. Shake up. Uh, and maybe that card's good. Reform, yay. Plot twist, yay. The rest, I'm, I'm very unsure about. So I'm going to say Warlock is like kind of weird to me right now. Sorry. Puppy, you are eating my wall. You can't go out there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. If you did, make sure you check out my other reviews. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe. All the things. Um, and hopefully I'll see you around. Bye.